to start off this look, I'm gonna start with doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in um, Ebony. Okay, so when I do my eyebrows, I start with outlining the eyebrow with this um, pomade and then um, filling it in. And lastly, going with some foundation around the eyebrow. I've outlined them now and I'm slowly filling them in. I'm gonna do a pretty heavy look and make sure that the beginning of the brow is not as um, filled in. So by taking the other side of the brush, I kind of brush out the um, front of the eyebrow to make sure it's um, pretty even. So that's one eyebrow. So the eyebrow looks maybe a little bit too dark and too much right now, but when you do a pretty heavy um, eye look, this will complement each other very nicely. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other eyebrow. The next step for me is taking a very precise brush um, and picking some concealer or foundation. So I'm picking up the product. This is by the way the Instant Age um, Eraser from Maybelline. And this brush is from the Gilded Collection from um, Morphe. What I will do is outline the eyebrow. And as you can tell, um, I need to get my eyebrows done and by covering those hairs you'll kind of um, camouflage those uh, hairs and they won't be so visible anymore so that's one side done and short strokes work the best uh, so you make sure that you don't make any mistakes. You can shape your eyebrows to whatever you like. And with the concealer you can correct any mistakes in part of your eyebrow that you don't like. So I also apply a little bit to the front. That's one eyebrow done. And if you come across to a part that you don't like or want to be filled in more, just go in again with your product. So for the last time, brush through your eyebrows. You can blend the concealer with a brush or either your beauty blender. I'm using my beauty blender because I think it blends the most effortly. So blending it into the skin. Very gentle. Now for the eyes. I'm going to use the same concealer, placing it on the eyelids, kind of as a primer and to make the eyes um, kind of even at the same time. So set the concealer into place with some powder. I'm using a pretty big brush and some banana powder to set it into place. By putting down this layer of concealer and powder, um, it will make your eyeliner pop a lot more especially um, if you're doing a statement look with only eyeliner i would definitely recommend you to put that on first so for the eyeliner i'm using the maybelline master ink eyeliner it's a waterproof one and um, it dries matte i will start with lining uh, with my eyes open Because I'm putting on fake eyelashes, I want the eyeliner to be very thick and prominent, so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other eye. I'm 
using the same brush and the concealer that I used before, I'm gonna line the under parts of the wing. This will make the um, wing very, very, very sharp and effortless at the same time. After the eyeliner, I'm gonna apply some mascaras. I'm gonna use the Miss Manga um, by L'Oreal. Only gonna do a very thin coating of mascara. I'm gonna do quite a bit on the bottom because on the bottom, I'm obviously not putting any falsies. For lashes, I'm using these beautiful, beautiful Foliumens lashes from AliExpress. So if I can find the link, I'll put it in the down bar, but they're in 812 and if you search on aliexpress for fake lashes you will definitely get these and they are beautiful they don't cost much and the quality of them is very very good these lashes are kind of put in individually so they don't look like your standard lashes and they have an amazing length to them always remove the extra glue that's on the band so the glue I'm going to use for these beautiful lashes is the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive and this is latex free. Um, it sticks very very well. It's white but when you apply it on the lash band it becomes more blue when you're ready to kind of um, stick it on and it gets more sticky. Um, the color turns more blue clear kind of instead of this white. So this um, eyelash glue turns very very sticky and it stays on for quite a long time i prefer this glue more than the duo lash glue so i'll put the middle first and then adjust the edges so that's what this eyelash looks on i think you guys are starting to understand what i mean with a pretty heavy eye even though there is no eyeshadow now onto the other eyelash again my eyelash applying a strip of glue on the edge here and it will turn more blue slash clear when it's ready to apply it's already quite blue but very milky white blue so the and the adhesive turns a little more transparent when it um, is ready to be applied. With this glue, you also have to wait for about 30 seconds for it to be fully tacky and ready to apply. So I really love this look with uh, a heavy eyeliner, big eyelashes, um, and keeping the dress quite simple but very classy. These tweezers kind of are especially for um, putting on eyelashes and what I like to do is squeeze these eyelashes together with my own lashes so um, there is no gap between them. So if you're using kind of sharp tools for doing your eyelashes or whatever or getting close to your eye Make sure you're very, very careful because you don't want this to go in your eye and um, make you blind. The eyelashes are on. There's a little part there that still needs to dry. But for the most part, they're on. If you're doing very thick eyeliner like this and not using these kind of heavy eyelashes, um, your eyes will look very small and this look won't be um, as nice. Next, I'm picking my wipe and I'm gonna pick a little bit of my... A Garnier micellar water. I love this stuff. It cleans everything from waterproof mascara to eyelash glue It cleans everything. So I've cleaned my face now to make sure there is no product on my skin So I'm gonna prime slash moisturize my face with the Diadermine um, Hydrating day cream picking up a little bit of product and this cream blends very easily and at the same time Hydrating the skin very nicely. So the foundation I'm gonna use is a total control a drop foundation from NYX putting a few drops on my face and blending it out with my beauty blender
this foundation covers everything very nicely and um, doesn't leave your skin dry going back to my Maybelline concealer I'm gonna put that um, under my eyes my chin bridge of my nose and on my forehead blending it out when using a beauty blender make sure to tap the product into the skin and don't drag it you know everything is very nicely blended now for my contour i'm also using the foundation from nyx but in a darker color um, to contour my cheeks and this is in the color deep rich it is a um, dark brown but with a cooler undertone so the lady who helped me in the nyx store um, tried to find something that was not too dark but at the same time not too warm because in the beginning she showed me a color that was that was too warm for my skin complexion even though i have indian skin my undertone is way more cool than warm okay for blending out everything i really like my beauty blender but if i'm not using my beauty blender i'm using these brushes from the um, Gilded collection from Morphe. They are very nice and they also blend very easily. So my beauty blender, the thing is with the beauty blender, it's it soaks up a little bit of the product, but if you keep tapping on the same spot, it will kind of put down the product again. So for me this foundation is the perfect contour shade. I really really enjoy it and it's not too dark so it warms up my complexion at the same time contours and I don't have to put in a lot of effort um, to be able to blend it out because in the first instant I picked up a color that was way darker than this it was cool tone but way darker and she told me you know if you want to be able to blend it quite easily um, you shouldn't go for a color that's that dark okay so i'm sitting in front of my window and the light is coming like this picking up some banana powder putting it underneath my eyes to set all that concealer and i'm using a morphe brush to dust off all the um, excess powder That is done and now applying extra mascara on my bottom lashes because there is a little bit of powder on them. From the same Morphe collection I'm using the brush Y2 for my contour. So I'm picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in medium and I'm using this color first and then the darker one to contour um, the face. I'm very softly shading in that contour. The last step for me would be highlighting, so I'm using the Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sun Dipped and I'm using the color um, Moonstone combined with Summer, these two, and I'm very softly and gently placing these two colors right here, the cheekbone, the tip of my nose, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose on my temples and highlighting a little bit on my cupid's bow then my highlighting is done and from the highlighting palette i am taking the color bronze this dark one and putting it a little bit over my contour blending into the highlight itself uh, and this gives it a way warmer glow so to set all the makeup into place, I'm using a setting spray. This is from a local drugstore here in the Netherlands. So what I'll do, I'll close my eyes and put a lot and a lot of setting spray on. By applying quite a lot of setting spray, all the cakiness, all the powderiness of all the powders that you've layered and layered on top of each other, it will go away in seconds your highlighter will pop a lot more as you can see and the cakiness of the baking will go away and the foundation and everything will turn more skin like normally i would go for a very nice 
liquid lipstick but today i want to do a very shiny lip what i've discovered recently is the what i discovered pretty recently is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream so to me this is not a cream it's more like a vaseline but if you apply this on your lips your lips will look so shiny this is how the plot looks picking up a little little bit like that you will see the magic happen in front of your eyes I felt like my camera was not really picking up the look, so that's why I wanted to come on and show you the look in direct sunlight. The lashes are very, very intense. The Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream is very, very shiny. And it, it shows up way better now. That's my highlight. And that's the overall look. So yeah guys, that was the look for today. It's a very classic, neutral, intense look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this look and what kind of looks you want to see me do next. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it again a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I hope to see you in my next one. So until then, stay happy.